you guys, three of you are businessmen. Where do you see Jersey Bay in 10 years? For young people, actually, employees. Businesses need employees, young people need homes. Where is Jersey going to be in 10 years' time? Thank you. Uh, you know, people like Anne Marie leave the islands, I won't be able to run my business. I don't have the answers, I have to, I have to say that. But one of the things I would say, I mean, in addition to uh, any shared equity scheme that, that, that comes forth, and I believe it is a way forward, um, we recently voted that there should be, instead of grants, there should be loans for, people, for young people going away to study. Um, now, we only get 60% of all people who go away ever return to the island. Uh, to encourage that, perhaps, and it should have been there before they proposed loans instead of grants, that returning graduates, returning trainees, should perhaps have a tax break early on. Perhaps we should look at taxing young people less than we do the rest of us, in order that we, they can get, get established and get their foot on the ladder. It could well be. But whilst we remain dependent on a single industry, and we are still largely dependent, 50% of our GDP and the rest, on, F, on financial services, and whilst financial services still recruits the way it does, we will not have those opportunities. If you're talking about the 2006 figures, the number of school leavers employed in financial services industry right across the board, our biggest employer, 12,000 plus employees, was 75. 75 school leavers and 350 recruited off island. 350 people brought into the island, 75 jobs for school leavers. That's a reflection of our, I believe, over completely overwhelming dependence on one single industry. That's the reality of where we are.